Hi friends, welcome to Paula MJ's Place. My name is Paula. If you are new and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of you. And today I have a collective haul. Um, I did go to Dollar Tree earlier this week and I already did my haul. I went today and I didn't find many things. Our Dollar Trees are very dry. I haven't found anything. Um, I did buy a couple of things, but it was just repeat purchases. So I will be showing you a couple of items from Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, and then Bath and Body Works. It shouldn't be a very long video because I don't have a lot. But um, without further ado, oh, don't forget, thumbs up if you enjoy my video. And please subscribe if you haven't. I've already said that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get to it, shall we? Okay, I will be showing you the Hobby Lobby first because that's the least amount of things I did get. Now Hobby Lobby still has 75% off home decor. Um, I went there just to kill some time while I was waiting to, to go uh, for an appointment and I ended up, of course, buying a couple of things. So the first thing is not was not on sale. I just, I loved it. Um, when I first got the Our Father plaque over here, I saw this as well, but I figured I can only get one thing at a time, so I got that. But then I saw this yesterday. I guess they restocked it because they haven't had it for a while. And this is The Last Supper. So I went ahead and got it. I just love it. Um, when last time I was at Hobby Lobby, they had that, still had that sale, and I saw a lady getting that huge picture of this, but I was already in line, so I didn't, um, didn't go look. But I'm just, you know, I. I had that in my mind, the back of my mind. So I got this. This was $11.99 and it was not on sale. I was just uh, looking at it and thinking um, how large it is. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to measure it. It's probably about 10 inches, I would say. Nine. Nine inches. So yeah, and it just says gift. And there is a stand included. It's a small stand. Um, but yeah, you put it right on the stand. I'm going to put it right over here on my dining table. I have a big old vase with some um, hydrangeas flowing down and this looks so pretty because my table is dark uh, it looks really good it matches everything so that's what I'm going to do with that of course you can hang it there's a place on the back to hang it and now I pref I would have preferred for it to be a lighter color but you know I don't know <laughs> I guess I could just do whitewashing on it but I'm just going to leave it as is so that's the first thing I got at Hobby Lobby I'm just going to put it over here so that I don't damage it. And that was $11.99. And then this was on sale. I don't know. I just love this kind of stuff, these designs. This was um, normally $36.99. It was reduced for $9.24. And it's quite large. They only had one. I would like to have gotten two. You know, you could probably flank this on either side of a headboard or you know, a, a bookcase or wherever. Um, I think I'm gonna put it on the ledge. I have a really high ceilings and a ledge, a couple of ledges up there and I have all kinds of stuff on them. So I think this is gonna go up there, change things out a bit. It is large. Oh, and there's a place to hang it too. I think I'm just gonna lean it against the wall on the ledge. And there is the uh, everything of course is already picked over because they had the sale going on for a while but let me just try to measure it for you my fingers keep getting stuck in this uh, okay so that's 12 it's about 24 I would say about 26 inches long and 11 inches wide I don't here I am measuring it oh it's 11 point well, the tag is over it, but it's 11.28, 11 by 28. Okay, that's what it is. So yeah, I thought that was so pretty. And they had others, but you know, I, you have to inspect these things really well because if you grab them, a lot of times they're cracked. This feels like MDF or something, this part. This is metal, but a lot of times they're cracked. So I, this, I inspected it, it looked pretty good. They had other ones that were broke, like it was smaller, but they were all cracked and broke. Okay, so that does it for my Hobby Lobby. Sorry about that noise there. Oh, it's very hot here. I'm a little bit warm. <laughs> I had to put this on because this pattern is crazy for the camera. I didn't want it 
you guys, you know, the eye get, gets all weird. If, I don't know. I didn't want to cross-eye anybody or whatever the heck. <laughs> whatever. I had to tone down the pattern. All right, now let's go to the Dollar Tree haul. These two are repeat purchases. My husband told me that he needed some more dog treats for our clients' dogs. I think I bought these two other times. It's the um, the first one is the Pup Stop Pup Tarts, just like I guess Pop Tarts or peanut butter flavor, all natural, vegan, no sugar added. Um, treats for dogs, five ounces. And then I got also the dog. Dog Stoppers Cheddar Cheese Flavor, also five ounces. Uh, no sugar added. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then it tells you the ingredients. What are the ingredients? Flour, vegetable oil, cheddar cheese, rye, wheat, bran flour, mixed taco furls, preservatives. Okay, and that's that. And then I'm sure Dollar Treats had these before, but I haven't really paid attention. I just saw this and it caught my eye. Uh, there's three self-laminating sheets. I'm just trying to see the, um, it doesn't tell you the size. I remember getting a whole big, huge envelope of, of, of laminating sheets at the 99 cent store way back when, when it was still open and it was still 99. Um, I'm gonna try to measure this for you. If I could find my ruler, I put my basket on top of it. I, I'm assuming they're the size of, well, let's just open them up real quick. I don't have a lot, so. Sometimes you need this like for, I don't know. <laughs> cards, ID cards, some kind of cards, I don't know. Oh yeah, this is the size. Okay, so the, it is uh, going to be, they're gonna be six by four and a half and there's three in there. So yeah, I thought that was, you never know when you're gonna need them. I needed them and I went, I still have the stuff from the 99, but there wasn't much left. I was able to cut um, pieces off and I didn't have very much. I'm just gonna put this back in here because if I don't do it now, everything will fall out sometime, somewhere. Um, and I did get more of these, uh, what do you call these? Big Sky Mints, sugar-free. I love these. I just, I use them all the time. I keep them in my car. Sometimes I get like congested or I just need a little something. So yeah, it does have sorbitol. It is a, how many ounces in here? 1.76 ounces. So I know these are good, I got these. I um, also got this uh, peppermint. I'm not a fan of peppermint at all, I, but I figured it would kind of just be cooling. If I was congested. Of course I have cough drops too, but sometimes um, Walmart doesn't have the sugar-free cough drops and they end up with the ones that have sugar in them. I don't really want to have that extra sugar. I am going to open these up and try them because I have not tried the peppermint ones yet. This It's a good can um, for your for the amount. We well, get a good amount for what you pay. Yeah, they smell like spearmint, a peppermint. Let's try one. They're, they're not bad they're refreshing I think if you like peppermint you'll like these um, just be aware some people don't like the sorbitol so it does have that in it yeah I haven't seen these at a lot of my Dollar Trees today I found them at one so I figured I'd get a couple of them because you know they come and go quickly that's how the Dollar Tree is Alrighty, I'm just going to move this over. That does it for my Dollar Tree haul. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I'm praying that next week I can find some good stuff at the Dollar Tree because this week it was not a, yeah, I didn't find very much. Alright, so then um, this, haul, this part, particular part of the haul is from Bath & Body Works. I like to take advantage of their... Um, semi-annual sales that's usually the only time I shop at Bath and Body Works um, and usually online unless I go to the outlets they have one there and I'll stop in there I have we have a couple in the you know here in my city but I don't really go there that much I don't think I've been there in a long time anyway um, I did get so they sent me an email and they said um, you can get 
a product for free up up until I don't know if it was twenty dollars or I don't even remember. So I thought, okay, I'll use that coupon and then I'll take advantage of the semi-annual sale because it's going on right now to seventy-five percent off uh, all kinds of things. So I thought, okay, so I entered the coupon in the coupon box at the uh, online and I got free shipping as well. So I was thrilled. So this is the product I got. It's called, um, it's a fine fragrance mist. I don't really, I have some from there, but I never end up using the whole thing because it's my own, you know, cologne or perfume that I have. I usually use uh, philosophy. Anyway, this is supposed to be, this is the vacation vibe. And it's supposed to be a dupe for that Brazilian um, fragrance that everybody's like going nuts over. Dollar Tree also had one of those, um, I forgot, it's some kind of a, a body spray or that was supposed to be a dupe for the Brazilian one, which I forgot the name of. I'll look it up and I'll probably put it over here somewhere in, this, uh, in the video here. This is supposed to be a dupe of that. So... I hadn't smelled it yet, and I never did buy the one from the Dollar Tree. So I thought, okay, let's try this. This is supposed to be um, whipped pistachio, sun-drenched jasmine, and praline amber. Only thing I am a fan of in here is going to be the jasmine. Pistachio and amber? Anywho, let's give it a go, shall we? <laughs> Smells very sweet. Ah. Sorry, I shouldn't open my mouth like that. Like <laughs> that mint in there. I apologize. I'm not a fan. Ah. I smell like vanilla or something. This reminds me of pink sugar, Aquilina pink sugar. I used to wear that years ago, but the pink sugar smells way better than this. Maybe it's my body chemistry, but it stinks. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Oh, it, it at first it smells like like sweet, and now it's just a very strange smell. I don't know if it's the pistachio. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. Uh, thank goodness it was for free. <laughs> okay, so usually when I um, take advantage of the semi-annual sale, I usually only get the body cream, Ultimate Hydration Body Cream. Uh, that's what I stock up on because body wash I have from all other places I buy through the year. So um, I still had some from last year. So to, this time I was... Um, I did take advantage of, of the sale and I got a new fragrance that everybody was saying it, was, it smelled so good. So this is the Ultimate Hydration Body Cream with Shea Butter. Oh, you know what, I didn't, did I tell you how much this was? $17.95. This was not on sale. I don't know if they, you know, if it's on sale for the, if they changed it and put it on sale for the, uh, what do you call it, semi-annual. I'm sorry, I should have showed that up closer. Yeah, that's not smelling good on me. It's probably my body chemistry. It has a very, very strange smell on me. <laughs> so um, so this is the 24-hour moisture, rich and luxurious for instant moisturization. These are the kind of creams I use um, all the time. Uh, let's see. This one is Irresistible Passion Flower, Ying and Yang, and Mist, uh, Misty Rainforest, made with vitamin E, aloe, shea, and cocoa butters, and hyal hyaluronic acid. I think it's all of them are made that way. I'll just check it out. Uh, 24 hour moisture, eight ounces. And this was $3.95. I remember the days when I think they used to be like $3. But I mean, $3.95 is not bad because the original price here says $17.95. Of course, I would not pay $17.95. I would always get it on some kind of a sale or I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> so this is Tropidelic, Bath and Body Works Tropidelic. That is the scent. Let's give it a whiff. They're not sealed or anything. I don't think they usually come sealed. I think they probably melted or, or something. It was really hot. Oh, that smells really nice. 
quite nice, y'all. Quite nice. Tropidelic. I think I might, if I, if I stop in the store again, I might get the whole, that smells very nice. Oh, I'm putting it on with that nasty other. Yeah, it's, that smells very, very nice and it's very hydrating. Yeah, I enjoy this um, product a lot, These, the, the shea butter <clears throat> cream. That smells nice. If you like um, what I say it was, Passion Flower, Yin Yang, Mystery Rainforest. Yeah, that smells very nice. But we're all different. Somebody might not care for it, but I really, that's nice. And then this one is Tahitian Island Dream, also the same brand the same kind of product hydration ultimate body cream shea butter and hyaluronic acid i think i've tried this before i think they might have had a different packaging um it does say dermatologist tested can't really see but yeah and this one is um fresh coconut water sparkling mandarin kiwi blossom lush lush frank panini tahitian vanilla musk so, I like tropical scents myself. I think I've, I, I'm pretty sure I smelled this one before. I used it, I should say. Oh yeah, that smells pretty good. Yeah, it's not terrible. I still like the Tropidelic better. So there's that one. I did get four of these different scents. I have used, uh, this is classic, cucumber melon, I mean, I was gonna say who doesn't cu like cucumber melon, but not everybody does, but I love it. I first smelled this one, my sister-in-law gave me a, uh, it was like a basket, a huge basket for Christmas with all of the cucumber melon. Cause this I think is a unisex. I mean, anybody could use it. Shea butter, uh, let us let me just say what's in here. Ooh, that is hard to read y'all. I don't have my glasses right here. Oh yeah, I do, excuse me. Yeah, um, I'm going to try to make this quick. We're already at 17 minutes, but it is what it is. What was I? Okay, the scent is ooh, crisp cucumber, water, watery honeydew, ooh, summer can cantaloupe, sparkling grapefruit, and sheer woods. So, yeah, I love this scent. Really nice. Hmm. Lots of, it just smells just like cucumber, cucumber and melon. <laughs> okay, and then the last one I got is freesia. I love freesia. Freesia, jasmine, and honeysuckle are my favorite scents and flowers. Oh, lilac actually is my favorite. Then those, the other ones as well, but yeah. Oh, here I am. And this one is freesia, creamy hyacinth, and white musk. And these are this one's these are sixteen ninety five. I don't know if I, I think all of them are. Yeah, but I bought them. I paid three ninety five for each of these. So yeah, oh, that smells so nice. Now they have a lilac scent. The lilac body mist smells pretty good, but the cream, the body cream doesn't smell that great. I don't know why. They also have a gardenia. I like gardenia as well. Okay, so there's that, and then um. I had bought some hand cream from Bath and Body Works last year. I just stum stumbled upon the store when they were having like a huge sale of uh, hand cream and lip lip balm. Oh my goodness. I got the hand cream. I don't know if I ever used it before. Had used it before. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but it is so moisturizing. Now the hand cream was on sale for three for seven dollars, I believe. So each one was $2.33. Now, some hand creams were not on sale, like the specialized ones, like the hyaluronic acid, which I have and I love, bought them at that sale. Those were not on sale. I think it was just, hair sticking out there. It was just the scented ones. So I did get the, um, these were all $233, 3 for $7. So it comes out to $233 each. I did buy three, six, I, I bought 12 of them. So I got the happy birthday, and this is normally $8.95, which again, this is not a very large, one ounce. So yeah, I would only buy this on sale. 
and I got the happy birthday. There wasn't much to pick from in the three for seven dollar range, but it's 24 hour moisture made with vitamin E. Uh, let me grab the glasses again. I'm going to try to go quick because this is turning into be a marathon. Uh, vitamin E, aloe, shea, and cocoa butters, and hyaluronic acid. So this one has hyaluronic acid, but the other ones, the specialized ones, say just hyaluronic acid. So shea butter hand cream. So moisturizing. <laughs> I can't open it. Let me get another one. So I did get three, three of these. Which let me see if I can open this. Wow. I think it's because my hands are so um, slippery. From see if I can use my my tablecloth for oh yeah okay. Birthday cake smells okay. It's yellow, but it they just I just I really as long as it doesn't stink I don't mind because these are so moisturizing, especially um, my fingernails get so dry in my cuticles. It's like the polish comes off my nails because it's like it's so dry, my hands are so dry. That smells like birthday cake. It, and it's an okay smell. <laughs> but like I said, this is very moisturizing. So I got that one. And then I got the uh, Calypso Clementine. I don't know if it says the scent on here. Made without parabens, artificial dyes, not tested on animals, vegan, or on animals, and it's vegan, cruelty free. And these are all normally $8.95. So let's see what this one, use my tablecloth again. Oh, that smells really nice. That's a nice one. It's hard to smell it because I got this stuff on the tips of my fingers, but. Yeah, that's a nice smell. Okay, and then I got the, oh, Tropidelic. I'm so glad I got the Tropidelic because I'm really enjoying this scent. I got three of those. And then the last one was the Tiki Beach, no, Tiki, Waikiki Beach Coconut. If you can see that, I'm just getting really excited here and I'm not really showing them up close. That's the first one. And then lives a Waikiki Beach coconut. All I can smell is this. Oh, that smells nice too. Yeah. So yeah, eight ninety five normally. And then the Waikiki Beach coconut. And these are all one ounce. And if you go, um, I got these. I ordered these, I believe, last week. I think they're still on sale. I think they change it every week, but um, I thought that was a pretty good deal. So that's the end of my haul. I appreciate you all watching. Uh, don't forget, uh, subscribe if you haven't. Like, comment below, share my videos if you are so inclined. Um, hopefully, I will go back to the Dollar Tree next week and find some great finds, great deals for you, uh, for us, <laughs> so I can share with you. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Be well and be blessed.